Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Infosec like Pat. This is video seven of this series. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to create OUs, organizational units, users, and groups. And this is all going to be within Active Directory, right? So we're going to be creating an OU called IT, Cybersecurity, HR, and Sales. And then we're just going to create a few users, Bob, Beth, Pat, Tim, Joe, Jason, and Bill. I just made up those names. And then we're going to create three groups, IT, InfoSec, and HR. And then we're going to go ahead and log into Windows 11 with our new user named Joe, just to make sure everything is working correctly. And then we'll wrap it up. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up our AD box. Okay. So actually, I want to bring that. So I don't, so I just, so I remember the uh, names. My luck, I'll forget. Cool. So let's go ahead and open up Active Directory. Users and computers, even though I have it pinned down there, sometimes I go open it the manual way. All right, so let me go ahead and just do this to 125. So it looks really small, at least for me. I don't know why it looks. Did I go blind overnight? All right, that's better. All right, so this is our Active Directory in my infosecpath.com domain. So what we're going to do is Go ahead and create a couple OUs first, right? So let's go ahead and just right click anywhere. We can go to new organizational unit, right? And this is the screen that you should get. And my first one is going to be IT, right? So protect container from accidentally deleting, having this turned on. So for an example, let's go ahead and hit create. Okay, if I wanted to delete it, I'm probably going to get an error. Are you sure you want to delete this? Yes. You don't have the significant permissions to do so. There is a way to, to change that. You can go to advanced features. Obviously, this is advanced features. And I believe, let me see if I remember this. Let's go ahead and go back here. Go to properties. Go to object, protect. Let's take that off. Hit OK. And now let's see if we can delete this. It's gone, right? I want to put it back to the normal, normal view. So let's go ahead and create it one more time. Just wanted to show you what that feature was. Go back, let's do it quickly. And IT. Okay, so that's our first OU. So the next one is going to be cybersecurity. Let's create another OU. I'm just going to put CyberSec. Okay. And then the third one is going to be HR. And then the last but not least is going to be Sales. Okay. Perfect. So now we have our three or four, sorry, four organizational units. The next thing we're going to do is create some users. So we have a default users um, container here. So what I want to do, I want to create one more. I want to create another one, another OU, just for simplicity's sake. Uh, let's go ahead and go back here. I'm just going to put, even though, you know what? I want to create the users within the OU that they belong to. How about that? I want to do that. So IT, I want to create a new user. Okay. And I want to put Pat here. I'll put myself first. And then Pat. And then password. I don't need to change it. I'm going to put never expires. Obviously, this is not best practice. But this is a lab. Okay. Perfect. So next, next. Okay, so we have Pat and IT. Okay, and then we should, 
let's put Bob in IT as well. Okay. Bob. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to do the same thing. We can copy it too. So we have Bob and Pat in IT and CyberSec. We're going to go ahead and put uh, Joe and Jason. Let's do new user. Joe. Okay. Okay. So and then Jason, let's do J. When? All right. So Jason is in there. And we can build on this as we go as well. So if you have any, you know, you can make up any users you want. This is just a list I had. So you can just do whoever you want. And then HR, I'm gonna put Beth and Tim. There's always a lady in HR, so. I've never seen an HR department with, with all men. If you have, that's pretty interesting because I have it. All right, so we've said Tim, right? One more user, Tim, Tim, oops, okay, perfect. So what do we have left? Bill, so we'll put Bill in sales by himself. There's only one, one person in sales at the moment because we don't have so many sales yet. So one person is good enough. Okay. Okay, perfect. And next one, we're going to create some groups. Okay. So let's go ahead and create some groups. And we can create a, a some, let's, uh, new group okay so before we do that you know what let's go into okay cool okay perfect so let's go ahead and create a group so with an it we said it info second hr right so it let's go ahead and create a new group i was just you know reading off my document on the side so we're going to do new group and we have here domain local, global, universal, security group, or distribution group. This is going to be a security group. So let's put, I want to put IT underscore team. So it's different from just IT. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead, and this is like the best practice, right? We don't have in organizational units and, and, and users and stuff like that. You normally have groups and it makes things a lot easier. So what we're going to do is take this. We're going to put Pat and Bob in the IT teams group. Okay. So members, there's none. So let's go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add uh, Pat. And then we're going to add Bob. Okay. Okay. Apply. Okay. So now if we go ahead and go to Pat, members of, he's a part of the IT group. Fair enough. Cool. So let's go to InfoSec. So we go to securities. And then we'll put Joe and Jason in here. So info sec team. Okay. Even though these are two family members and they have no idea about info. That's pretty cool. All right. So let's do Jason and Joe. Okay. All right. So the last one we have is HR. Put HR, get a new group, group, sorry, HR underscore team. 
super early where I'm at. Okay, so let's go here. Members, Ed, Beth, and Tim. Okay, perfect. And we're good. And sales, I guess we'll make a sales group as well. Whoop, not contact. My mouse got stuck. Okay. Sales underscore team. And we'll just put Bill in there for now. He's the only guy a part of the team at the moment. Okay. So we have we have all of that set up. We have our OU set up. We have our users and groups set up. So now let's go ahead and put this to this test. Let's go ahead and go back to our Windows 11 machine. We have it here. I'm logged in as admin. Let's, let's verify that. Open up CMD real quick. And let's scroll this up. As you can see, user, but if I can do, who am I? We can see I'm administrator, all right? So let's log in, I think I said as Joe. Let's go ahead and log off here. I can't log out. Sign out, okay? And then we'll put this to the test and make sure we can log in as Joe. Okay, so let's go to other user. I'm gonna put Joe. And put Joe's password. And looks like we're logging in as Joe. Perfect. We'll give this a few moments. Looks good. Says hi. It's going to set up his profile and all that stuff. So let's just recap what we did. Okay. So while that's loading, we did four steps, right? Four, four things here. We created the OUs, we created users. We created groups. And then the last but not least, we went to our Windows 11 machine and then we created a logon for Joe and we tested that login. As you see, let's see if it's up yet. It's gonna take a few moments. So that's pretty much how you create users, create groups, create OUs in Active Directory. And until next time, guys, hopefully this has been informative for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And like I always say, please like, subscribe, share. And uh, the more people that get exposure, the merrier, right? So thank you guys. And until next time, have a beautiful day.